I am going to be showing you how to turn Minecraft Bedrock Edition into Minecraft Console Edition exactly like this. This was created by Chris X Alt. I'll leave a link down below as to where you can check him out and also a download link. Now, this is still in beta phase, so expect a few bugs here and there. The download will say project 4JD UI master.zip. Now, all you want to do is right click on this and rename this, or in your file manager, just rename it from a .zip to a .mc pack. It's then going to ask for permission. Just click yes, then you are good to install it. The next thing you are going to need to do is in your settings, scroll down until you see video. Scroll down until you see the GUI scale modifier. Now, if you keep this at zero and it's quite big, you're going to have to make this smaller. I'm on Windows. I'm using this as minus one. The reason why is because this UI pack is slightly bugged and quite zoomed in if you play on a bigger scale. Then head into your settings and scroll down to global resources. Inside of my packs, find the pack. It's right here. Activate this. Double check it's in the active section. It's currently beta 2. It will be updated more frequently very, very soon. And then just watch this masterpiece unfold. Everything, and I mean everything has been made to look like minecraft console edition apart from the logo which says minecraft windows 10 edition this should say minecraft console edition when we click on play this is also changed the join the mini games who remembers the old mini games for minecraft console edition if we go and help in options and then options all of these have been changed to look exactly like how Minecraft console edition used to look down to your brightness, down to your render distance, down to the user interface options. So this is what I'm talking about here. The logo kind of overlaps on the UI here. That's why you have to play this. Uh, yeah, as you can see that that happens. That's why you got to play at this size. Again, this is a beta and hopefully it gets changed. Now I'm doing this on Windows. It is supported on iOS and Android. Windows 10, Xbox, Switch, or PlayStation, if you can get it on those versions, it is supported as well. Even the controller options have been made to look like Minecraft Console Edition. If I click on play and I go to one of my already created worlds, you'll see here that this is what the settings used to look like for Minecraft Console Edition. Now, here being the texture pack, it used to give you a glimpse of the texture pack that you were using. And I really like that from 4J Studios. Also, it's displaying the seed that I'm using. What I created this world on, which was obviously in creator mode, can go ahead and change these to different game modes and difficulties if I wanted to. You can even check out resource packs. So if you have more resource packs, again, let's say I enable this, which I'm not going to do because it'll probably break it. Well, you can enable these and move them to the selected resource pack section. Same with the behaviors packs. Even the world options have been completely completely changed i love this unfortunately though that only happens with existing worlds so you'd have to create a world in order for it to look like this because of the new ui that the developers have introduced to the game it will automatically take you to the create new world screen which i think is hard coded in trust me this gets better let me show you the loading animation One of the first notable changes is the graphics. It looks more like console edition. Now, this is hard coded into this pack. Currently, he is going to be introducing the ability to disable this, but also the hotbar. It's been raised on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It's a lot further down. I actually appreciate the Bedrock one a little bit more than console edition these days. Can we all take a moment to appreciate the UIs that 4J Studios developed? If you played Minecraft console edition, you will remember these. And I just want to say that these menus, even to this date right now, are 10 times better than what Bedrock currently has to offer. Now, you can search for things the same way. So if you wanted to search for diamond-related things, you can do that. If you wanted to search for oak-related things, you can do that. He's also integrated all the new blocks and items from future updates 
compared to console edition. So here we have exit again, pretty standard. Down here we have the recipe book, which is what you guys can see. And here it's going to show the player's inventory. Not only is the creative inventory changed, but also the crafting UI is different. When you open a chest, the chest system is different. That's the same for when you do things in your anvil inside of your furnace or in fact even inside of the blast furnace barrels have been integrated but it gets better because the creator of this being chris actually changed how you trade to somewhat look very similar to minecraft console edition so that automatically transfers everything by the way so we tap on this I'm gonna do one by one with these again really helpful for touch players or i can tap on this and do everything at once and that's the same for all of the villages. It's so useful. If it's like not highlighted here, then obviously you can't trade. If we tap on this, we'll trade one. Or we could trade all of them. The shulker box inventory has changed. Even the stone cutter as well. So if we grab ourselves some blocks here, such as stone brick, and we put these inside of here. And let's say we grabbed ourselves some of these. Let's change to these. Let's make ourselves some walls. Again, the graphics look so much better these days. Do you remember how the chat was on console edition? Let me show you. If we do forward slash game mode survival, look at the chat there. Obviously, when people joined, that would also pop up as well. I want to show you a few more things in survival here. Let's grab ourselves some diamond related things. Let's open up our inventory, which by the way, there's two options here. This being your uh, recipe book. And then obviously this one being your regular inventory. Put your armor on. But with this, you've got your own crafting grid here. So if I grab this inside of here. And I wanted to convert these from these into, let's just say, regular diamonds. You can see it right there. You can just tap on them and transfer them into regular diamonds. Although I can't seem to put them inside of my inventory. So maybe that is... Ah, okay. Got to put them inside of the... Ah, Take these and we put them in there. That makes so much more sense. Do you remember how enchanted items used to be displayed? So if you had this in your hand, you could see all the enchantments above your hotbar. This is not new because Bedrock does have this to offer. But when you hover over this, like this just reminds me so much of how console edition used to be displayed. It explained all the details behind them. Again, available on Bedrock edition and on Java edition. But I always remember this for console. And like I said, the chat has changed. So if we do hello, YouTube, back out. As you can see there on the left-hand side, it's displayed in this yellow color. Now, if you're done with this pack, just head over to help and options and then options and then at the top game and then resource packs. Sometimes it can be difficult to find, but it is displayed inside of here. There is two options. You have resolution, adaptive UI, normal mode. Make sure to restart your Minecraft when you change UI. And we also have Resolution Museum UI Classic Mode. If you just want to turn this pack off, just tap on this. Make sure it's on the left-hand side and go back. You are going to see a checkered screen like this. Don't panic and it will take you back to the normal Minecraft uh, Bedrock Edition. Console Edition will always be my favorite version of Minecraft. And we can kind of relive that nostalgic feel with this pack. Again, links are down below. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.